Hello viewers, in the previous video, we went through the overview of staging. In this video, we're going to create our stage. So first of all, let us create a new worksheet. We click on the plus sign and, and select SQL worksheet. So, so this is the worksheet. So we'll create, we'll, this is our worksheet. So to make this video short, I've written the SQL query command. So I'm gonna copy paste it into our worksheet. So, so this is it. So first of all, first of all, we'll create a database to manage our stage object and file format. So our database name is going to be employee DB. So we've created this one successfully. So for we to make it unique, we're going to create a new schema for our database. So we'll call our schema name external stages. So we'll run our, we'll run our query. So we'll be creating an, we'll be creating an, So this one will be creating will be creating an external stage. So our stage name is going to be employee stages. So this is our DB employee. This is our database employee DB we created there, and this is our external stage we created there. And we are here now. We are going to create our employee stage. So for you to create an employee stage you need to have the url the url um the url of the s3 bucket you're going to be using is um testing king king's rise i'm going to make this url public when we are loading our data so the credential is the aws key id which is your aws key id and the AWS secret key, which is your AWS secret key. So, okay, let's assume that you don't know how to create an AWS credential for this table. So you will go to your, we'll go, you will go to your um, AWS account, search um, IAM, Such I am select it. Select I am. You select the I am and my network is kind of slow. I apologize. apologize. So you come to this place user click on user so we can create a new user i can create add user so let me call this one employee employee click next click next and select select attach policies directly
then here the policy will be we just type um, full or type s type s3 and select ws s3 full access and click next we are not creating any tag just click create user So it has created our user for us. Now click on the employee user we just created. And then and come to When you click on the new user we just created, click on security credential to create your access key. You see it says no access key created. So you click create access key. So let's see, let's select um, third party service. Click select third party service. Um, check, um, I understand the above recommendation. I want to proceed to create an access key. Click next. The description tag is not um, important, it's optional. So click create access key. So now this is your access key. So, so this is your access key then you copy this access key and secret key and keep and keep it in a safe place or download it but just copy it and keep it probably in in a text file in your virtual studio and click done so so then then you come back to your snowflake so you come to so now you come back to snowflake under your credential you will paste your your aws key id here and paste your secret keys here so when you paste it then um, you can run it and create a stage so the stage file is a public file i created i'll show you here so let's go back to uh so um let me show you the bucket the bucket and the csv file you're going to use for this project so let's type s3 bucket s3 and click on s3 and click on s3 Click on S3, then so um, this is the bucket we are going to use. So uh, let me click on it. And the folder that the file is is an employee data. So, and the file you're going to use is employee data underscore underscore four is a CSV file. So let's click it. So I'll copy this. I'll copy the URL for this um, employee underscore data underscore four dot csv i'll copy it and we'll come to our we'll come to our url here and paste it it's a public file so you can access it under this video i'll put i'll put the link of this url below so you can publicly access it and, and carry along with me so um 
so here in this place we'll, this will show the description of the external stages so when after running this after creating the stage here after putting your credentials here uh, putting your credential here is not the best practice um, the best practice is to use storage integration object in further video i will show you how to create um, a storage integration object when creating stages so and um, here it will show the description of your external stage so um, this is the qu um, query command if we want to alter the external stage for instance we want to change our our AWS key and secret key. We you can alter the stage by putting alter stage and the stage name and set the credential to your new preferred to your new preferred AWS key and secret key. So here, this command will list out all the documents under this stage. And um, after creating the stage, this is where we load our data into Snowflake. So you will copy into employee DB and the external stage we just created. Um, in the next video, we're going to create an employee table. So we now say from at the employee stage we created initially, and this is the file format. The file format you are going to be using is a CSV file format, and it's going to be a command delimiter format. You are going to skip the header, which is this. Let me show you the CSV file. So this is the CSV file you are going to be using. So this is the header. So we are going to skip this header and copy from here because we are going to create all this header. And make sure when you are creating when you're creating your table that the, ta the data tallies with the header. For instance, the ID, the first name has underscore and the last name has underscore. So everything must be the same thing with here and the data type must match. And looking at the data type, this one is integer and others are virtual, which are strings. So, and this is how you create your, your steam. In the next video, we are going to load our data into Snowflake. Thank you for watching and keep learning. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube video, kindly subscribe.